first run for office. I am his wife, Lori Christie. His mother, uh, who lives in Florida and is a widow, had a heart attack and a stroke, and so he had to go and spend the last week uh, helping her in the hospital. She has getting better. She's transitioned to rehab, and so he's on his way back home uh, from Florida with all the other spring breakers, but uh, he wanted to be here, and, and we uh, very much appreciate the Indiana Defenders of, the, of Liberty West for allowing me to step in. You know, I can't talk a whole lot about what Scott would want to say. He would want to have those words and, and to speak those from his heart. But let me talk a little bit as his wife of why we thought it was important. This is Scott's first run for public office. Now, we're not newbies to the political system. Scott and I met when he was um, a staff member for the Indiana House of Representatives, and I was a staff member for the Indiana Senate. And so uh, during that time, that's when Dick Thompson was in the Indiana House. and. Kermit Burroughs was Speaker of the House, and so our political careers, we've laughed, we've said our whole relationship and marriage and everything we've done has revolved around political election schedules, even to the point where we had to wait to take our honeymoon until after Bob Orr got married because I was part of the staff that uh, was on the Bob Orr for Governor campaign. So we're not newbies, but we've always worked behind the scenes. We've done the door-to-door -door and have walked and worked in this county many, many times knocking on doors for others. And we got to a point in a stage in our lives where we finally felt in discussions um, with each other that it was time to kind of give back. And all of these years of accrued knowledge and expertise that we jointly had, and particularly Scott, we felt was a perfect match for the Hendricks County Council at large. And you know, you have a wonderful group of candidates here, incumbents and challengers alike. And so what a fortunate situation we find ourselves in to have such qualified candidates. So I'm gonna spend just a moment and talk a little bit about Scott. You know, if you have a chance to meet Scott, and I hope you do, he's kind of a quiet, introspective guy. He's not a chest thumper or a back slapper. He's kind of the quiet guy. He has been, when I would, something would happen, I'm the one that would get panicked and run and think, oh my gosh, we have to solve this problem right this minute. And Scott, being my rock for 35 years, would always say, now let's sit down and think about it, and let's weigh this out and be considerate and think about a little bit introspectively how we're going to solve this. And you know, that is the same approach he would bring to the Hendricks County Council. He's just a thoughtful, introspective, careful fiscal conservative who has many decades of knowledge that he can bring. And you know, the council's a seven-member board, so the thing that you really have to work at as a county council member is not only being innovative and creative, but being cooperative and collaborative and working with all the county elected officials because really you're there to kind of facilitate the entire program and policy of the county. And it's wonderful. You have such wonderful questions here. And I think that that's going to, would certainly take much more time than the allotment that we have to really give them the due diligence and the, and the uh, thoughtful, careful answer that we would want to give. But I think for Scott, I'm just going to brag on him just a little bit. He's just been such a remarkable part. We've had such a great relationship over the years, and that's partly what he would bring to the county council. So is it a real exciting position? Well, I guess that depends on your perspective. Is it a tremendously necessary position? Absolutely, and one that doesn't get the credit that it deserves in Hendricks County or any county because the fiscal body is such an important position that most people just don't understand and recognize. So I'm just going to take one quick little minute. Scott and I have been out here for 28 years. We live in Center Township, have 15 acres. We have had horses and we've had hay. Our daughter's grown up here and gone to the Danville schools. We love Hendricks County. It's been our home for more than 28 years, and we would be honored and privileged for your vote. So again, thank you so much for sticking around this afternoon. We would appreciate your consideration, and I apologize again. Scott will be at the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you.